thought I'd have a quick look inside this. Um, compressor from the other day. So let's put the bolts on. We don't get all of you. A lot of uh, discharge valves on it. Three discharge valves, suction ports, a lot of staining on there, and also on the other side. Your valves don't seem worn at all. You can, um, they get a ridge on them if they've. It's not seized. Got a big ball. Um, that's probably where it is. I think it's the biggest one they do in that rock. Say so six and a half horsepower. For a block they started out as a two horsepower. Oh, I don't think we've got any. Uh, um, I don't know, right any broken rods, so it's probably. It's not, I don't think it's mechanical failure then. There seems to be plenty of oil in there. If anything, there's a bit more. Usually, these discharge valves are on the. Um, on the smaller ones, they're on this lump here. There's a drilling that goes down that comes out out here. Oh, I also decided it was too much. So, I've um, got the end of the motor off. Um, it does look like it's got very hot, but it's certainly doesn't look nice and coppery coloured, it's quite um well, it's even, but then uh, so that the oil looks like engine oil, so I don't know if that's um I can see filings in the bottom of there. There's a little bit of oil in the bottom, it's full of bronzy copper filing, so Turns over okay. <clears throat> I think it's just cooked. Got this tipped up on its end um, now. That's the oil pump. And that little disc. 
sits in there and then you've got a cover over it um, sealed with an o-ring because this is three phase it can run either way so obviously these pumps only work one way um, but what they do is um, if it's running so it's running clockwise for example the pump will sit like that if it's running anti-clockwise when you start it up the first time that will swing round like that so it will still pump oil the right way see it? behind there you can see it uncovers as it goes round so we need the torch too much light then cover some ports behind the little rotor If I can get some more of those little bits out. There we go. Um, that's the two ports. Um, the hole in the centre is where the drive shaft goes through. That's the little pin. That's the, uh, what do you call it, a bush, offset bush or something, I don't know. Um, that's a little groove that sits against that pin and allows it to spin around either it's that way or that way. Um, and you've got your rotor for the pump. It sits in there. Locates on the crank. And you've got that little bit there. So I thought it was a mark, it's not, it's a, it's a little diamond shaped hole in there. That sits in there, like so. And you've got that little plate goes over there. So you can uh, swing around, depending on the uh, <clears throat> Which way the motor's running? 